Welcome to the world famous Saxon Bog. My name is Clinton and I'm the head naturalist here for the Friends of Saxon Bog. We're along the south end of Admiral Road right now, um, right next to this spruce stand behind me. Um, today we're going to talk about white wing crossbills and in particular their penchant for moving around. Most of our boreal species are fairly nomadic. Um, they're moving around here to there following food sources. Um, Crossbills, I think, are best known for that behavior. Um, it influences their breeding, it influences where you find them, and it influences when you're going to find them. Now, crossbills have the unique uh, distinction of basically being able to breed in whatever month they can. Um, food is their driver. It drives where you can find them in the summer, where you can find them in the winter, and where you can find them nesting. And so behind us, um, we're looking at a stand of black spruce. There's, there's some mixed tamarack as well, which is one of the main floristic components of the Saxon bog. And these trees in particular, very important to white wing crossbills in particular, both of these trees have very small cones. White wing crossbills have a slender, smaller crossbill than their cousins, the red crossbill. So the Saxon bog is a very, very good place to find white wing crossbills over red crossbills. Now, behind me, again, at the tops of these trees, you're going to see these little brown masses of cones. And if you're looking for crossbills, that's one of the first things you should look for. Look for this food. Crossbills send birds out ahead of a group to find areas that have cones. These scouts will cover an area, pick through a couple of trees, and then call if that area is suitable for foraging. If it's not, they move on. They move on to the next set of trees, which oftentimes can make it frustrating to try to find these birds, especially in a big area like the Saxon bog. Now, once these crossbills find an area that has a lot of food, those bills go to work, those namesake crossed bills. Now, what they'll do with these bills, jam them in under that cone and simply open. That opening motion twists the cone open, their muscular tongues go in, pull that seed out very efficient. They'll lose one in a thousand good seeds and they can tell almost instantly if that seed is good or if it's bad. They're very efficient foragers. Now finches um, have a particular behavior um, shared with most birds who eat seeds in gritting where they come down to a roadside that have been newly salted and newly graveled are often pretty good roads to look for these crossbills on. Um, 133, Highway 133 on the south side of the bog is a great place. Um, it's a heavily traveled road, which means it's open, but it means it also gets a lot of care. A lot of the roads, such as Admiral Road and McDavid Road, don't get the same care um, as Highway 133 or Highway 7 or Highway 5 get. Good places to look. But these birds have to come down to these roads. Um, they're often limited in their diet and other things too, like salt. Um, they'll get salts and other minerals, and not only from roadside salts, um, but through more natural sources of salt, um, such as feces of animals, especially otters and carnivores. Calcium is important for egg building. Calcium also is very rare in seed sources that these birds get. So remember, whether you're here in December or in May, there's still lots to be seen and lots to explore. Uh, so until next time, we'll see you 